Hello, everyone. This is Akata Vesta. Thank you for joining me again. Today, I am going to talk about Black Moon Lily. And as my client and those of you that are following me that know, I am absolutely obsessed with asteroids, with dwarf planets, and um, Black Moon Lilies is one of the points or asteroid that I always look at in a natal chart or in a transit chart that I think it gives so much explanation of the psychological and also the spiritual involvement of a person, of the energy that they are born with and the transiting um, vibration that is influencing a person's life. And uh, Lilith has just entered in Libra on the 29th of June, just a few days ago. So, first of all, we know that there are four types of Lilith in our birth charts that we can look at. That is the asteroid Lilith, and that is also the calculation point of Lilith, the true Lilith or the mean Lilith, and or as we call the black moon Lilith, that is the furthest point um, of the moon, that is the dark side of the moon. So regardless the technical uh, issues of how black moon Lilith represents, in our chart with the symbol of Lilith, we are is the one we call Black Moon Lilith, which is the furthest point of uh, of the moon, and and the mythology, the meaning of Lilith, with all these different types, are almost the same. That what Lilith represents. And so before we go into the technical details, we I, and let's get into the, the, the mythology of Lilith. So from my exoteric learning that I learned Lilith even before I learned um, astrology, that she was the first wife of Adam when God created man and woman equally. And somehow, somewhere down the line, that the story goes that Adam was asking Lily because she, as a woman, should submit herself, subject herself to his power. And Lily, as someone that know, she was created equal by the God, the souls, and there is no way that she would submit herself to another person. And because of these differences, and she would rather leave what supposed to be a heaven, an Eden, and to be of her own sovereignty, she chose to leave heaven, Eden, and go out onto her own journey. And further down the line, the story also goes that um, she started to to live with uh, a group of Orki that she had children with them, numerous children. And it came to the, the, the source, the God, and, and the God was saying, Oh, Lilith, what you are doing is just not decent. It's not just proper. And, and the God of gods healed all her children. Even under these circumstances, 
she wouldn't subject to the external pressure, external doctrine. And she has always been, even in our astrology point of view, she has always been referred to black side, black lit on the back side of the moon, that she is the shadow, the fear, the unspoken, the, the secret, the sorcery of referring to a person and now with our modern uh, interpretation while we are trying to balance out all these polarities between the dark or the light um, while most of the case when a planet is represented by masculine is almost always ben benefit and when it it is represented by a feminine either uh, either is the planet or asteroid or dwarf has always been portrayed as the malefics and this play out of the polarities and I personally think that is really limiting in our understanding when we try to categorize and when we try to put into a little box of a person's psyche. And as we go forward with our consciousness, we have to also understand that there is no light without darkness the darkness itself or being perceived as negatives is there something to re repel to to be cast out to reject or is that the opportunity in this lifetime when we have this kind of energy in us how we are going to Embrace it, face it, heal it, and so that we can bring out the higher octave of what is being represented in this planet, in this world planet, or in this astral. So in the case of Black Moon Lily, while she was the outcast from her own environment, By standing up of who she was. Because of that, she was being portrayed as a rebel, as a woman, as a consequence, is a malefic, a negative figure that she represents all negativities you can imagine being a woman, being a, a, a woman figure. And now, with her coming into Libra on the 29th of June, and she will stay here for nine months in Libra until 26th of March in 2025. And so, Lilith, Black Moon Lilith, we have this trajectory of almost nine years around the, our our chart and and on each zodiac sign she will stay more or less nine months so she is going to stay here in libra for the next nine months here comes the interesting lilith as someone that stand for her own sovereignty, stand for her beliefs without subjecting herself to outside influence, 
With that, as a consequence, he became an outcast and being expelled from the society, not accepted, not wanted. And now coming into this Libra energy, Libra, on the other hand, is assigned being an air sign, communicative, and a Libra, she is someone that is trying to harmonize, try to balance out conflicts, try to be um, politically correct, try to be democratic and not to upset the world. And with last, since last year in July, when the nodal axis of North Node and South Node ingressed into areas with North Node and South Node in Libra, the Libran energy has already going through a strong revolution of what a Libra represents. Have a really good look in your chart. Which house Libra is in your birth chart? And which planets are in your Libra and also on the opposite side? Where is it? in what planet you have in Aries. And so with Libra, she has already going through this revolution of self node of shedding everything that doesn't serve her any longer, that was karmic, that was in the past, as she is finding out. For instance, I have Libra both sun and ascendant in, 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 in the first house. So that was for me a process of understanding who I thought I was and building up the regeneration of, of looking back who I thought I was. Was it really me? And in this process, in understanding who am I today? So that would change according to the houses in your chart. So, as a Libra going through this changing a revolution of, of, of self-identity journey through self-node, and she is already shedding so much, changing so much since last year um, in July, and this process of the cell node will finish by the end of 2024 at the beginning of 2025. And now we have Lilith coming in. Lilith is going to conjunct the cell node in Libra on the 6th of September. Hmm. Hmm. So, how should we look at that? While she, a Libra, is shedding, is changing herself, understanding where, who, and what she is, with the coming of Lilith, is a further emphasis of Stand for it. You may find resistance by standing up of who you are, by acknowledging your own boundary that as Libra we try sometimes the, 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 the lowest and the lowest of, of in, in, in a Libra expression is almost like a doormat that people just step on it and thinking, oh, she is 
It's easy. She is um, she's nice and she wouldn't try to rock the boat and just to make everyone happy. Which is totally not true as a liberal myself. Maybe because I have also other 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 planets in my in, in, in my first house that changed the way I feel as a Libra. But anyway, and with Lilith coming in on the 29th of June, and little by little, she Lilith is helping, pushing, and further emphasizing the need for Libra to know who are you? Do you need always to please people? What if what you on this journey of finding your self-identity outside from you, maybe mainly from your own environment, from family and friends, they reject this new evolution of you. What will you do? Will you go back to what was what was then? Or will you stand up as Lily has been standing up herself to be courageous and also with a touch of furious of a warrior-like energy of this is who I am if you don't like it maybe you are no longer within my sphere of influence around my vibration Right? So, that is when Lilith conjunct the South Node on the 6th of September. That is building up in this a month, a little bit more, for a Libra to really looking at the progress that she has done since last year and now is the real test will you stand up or will you back down before i go into other planets that she is going to conjunct in Libra, we go back on the 29th energy of, of lilith when she entered Lilith into Libra at zero degree, on the opposite side, we would have Neptune in Pisces, 29th degree. And Neptune is going retrograde in a few days. So, I will have another video to talk about the overall retrograde energies of Saturn, Neptune, um, Pluto, Chiron, Uranus, and so with all that we are going to talk about it in another video. But here just let's concentrate. Now Neptune is still forward movement and with Lilith coming into zero degree and with this direct opposite i also find that is a form of um play out of polarity as lilith the feminine and neptune the masculine and and Neptune, in this case, I would like to bring out a galactic astrology essence. A Neptune in Pisces, which is highly spiritual. And that is that form of 
haughtiness or also without boundaries that like the ocean that we can flow with it here and there meanwhile lilith on the other hand she is here and she stand for that she is not moving regardless now we are going to play out these two kinds of energy and to match it to arrive into the middle point to walk on the middle path like a yin and yang that we have black we have white the path in the middle between black and white and the Gothic astrology part that I would like to point out because Neptune at this moment is conjunct Pegasus which I find um, very interesting that maybe in this case while well, Lily he has been fighting so hard being a warrior of, of standing up for her own sovereignty that she has been tough that she has suffered so much while she is going into the Libra energy which is more easy more loving with the principles of standing for herself maybe also it is also time for her for her to embrace the Neptune energy to flow with life and in this particular case with Pegasus very how like vibration essence of Pegasus that life can also be beautiful when we let go of control when we let go of the imprisonment of our mind that uh, to this or that and this is this polarity this playing out i find it very interesting you may find you may find it hard to adjust yourself by standing up but also embracing the childlike energy vibration of this. right but in our journey we that's how we become a master of our own life to be the creator that we have this image of Lilith, but we can also embrace her while we face our own shadow, the dark side of us, knowing that in some during our journey we had been we have been rejected. We we are the outcast. But while we understanding it with our new vibration when the old is living with self mode we are looking forward to the north node in areas and the energy of pegasus that we are maybe joining with other people that is more aligned with our consciousness now with our resonance now that we can relate we can align with but by doing that somehow we need to let go of control the flow with Neptune being in the ocean and um, I think that is because we have nine months of Lilith here and we still have another month before Lilith joining with the Sultan in this one month period 
I think it is a perfect example for us to uh, a portal of time for us to understanding the lily psyche in us and how we can embrace it and in order bring her into the higher octaves, the higher vibration of lilies, what she can represent instead of what is always been being put to. In this period, also, Lily is also training Pluto in very. So it is further emphasizes the regenera regeneration process of Pluto at Paris, of helping Lily in Libra to regenerate herself evolution of how she was to how she, of what she can be today and at the same time she is also talking with Uranus in Taurus a trying okay. in um, astrological terms with Uranus which is unconventional which is something that may be unexpected. Maybe there will be some event. Depends on the houses in your chart that would bring you into a shift of consciousness that is not conventional. The energy of this conversation between Lily and Jonas in Torah. And at the same time, while she is talking with Jonas, just right next to Jonas, but Setna, Setna is the, the goddess of the ocean who let go of her old self identity as an inward girl. And as another outcast from her family, with her father cutting off her finger while she was holding up on the boat, and she let herself drown into the ocean. And through this dying regeneration, through this dying, she became the goddess of the ocean. And and it's just further emphasized this energy of, of regeneration, of letting go of self-identity, and yeah, that. And I think also Lily in this way coming into Libra, she is going through this process in Libra and helping us. We've accepting it, embracing, looking deep into our shared our fear where you are afraid so much of being in our castle. So you let yourself be succumbed in a model, a type of person that wasn't really who you are. And it is a nine spirit that is excellent to find out and to embrace who we really are. The I am that I am. And, and now 
we are going to, to see in the Galactic Astrology chart. And this chart is based on um, the 5th of July, so a week after Saturn ingress into Libra, that we are going to have new moon in Cancer. Why I am choosing this chart? Because when, when Lilith came into Libra, it is already open. This portal of energy of Sirius A. And I think it can help us soon to, to delve into this energy of Sirius A. As we know, Siri that has great influence in our human DNA of how we became the human human that we are today. And it's highly related with Isis, with ancient Egypt, and in particular with Ascended Master. So instead of fighting with pure force, with pure willpower, this serious gateway is helping us to open up, to, to deep into, to be in touch with our ancient wisdom that is inside our blueprint that maybe we don't need to fight with just willpower. We can always stand for who we are by acknowledging, by going back to our origin that we are God great ourselves. Have this ancient wisdom from the Ascended Masters that our, through our connections with Sirius A that is a much more soft and philosophical When we understand who we are, do we need to always explain ourselves? Do we need the recognition from the outside world, from the from the other person, or simply by that thing, who we are, the serious wisdom, centered man. And at the same time, before I talk about yearnings in Taurus, yearnings at this moment, we have the energy of our world. Now, the story of our world, as the Medusa had another example of this mythology of a woman, of a tragic story that she was she she had this world to be that virginity to be the guardians of of a temple but she was raped as a consequence she was being punished for broken her vow my goodness, 
And we see how unfair, how unjust this story. And just like Lilith, she, she is being punished as, as an outcast from the society. So about yourness, he's having this conjunction with our world, with the tragedy of being raped. She was being punished and she became this monster with snake's hair that everyone that looked at her will be stone cold there instantly. And it's a triumph because she became so powerful. Zeus sent his son for sales to kill her, to cut her head off by using this shield, that shield like a mirror. When Medusa was looking into this mirror and she was instantly killing herself with her own image. I would love to do another episode just to talk about Big Star Algo. It is amazing. And anyway, so come back to our our our, our astrology here. So we have Augur at this moment conjunct Uranus with her energy. I think her energy at this moment with Uranus is also showing us life can hardly be planned. Many unexpected events, circumstances, connection will just happen. When these events happen, we hardly have any control. Could this be a positive? or a negatives, perspectives, is very much depends on how you and I look at it. Maybe not at this moment, the moment when it happened, but when we look back. Now, Uranus, he is going to conjunct Mars on the 15th of July. And this further emphasizes energy of our goal. But Jonas is going to be going to retro very soon. And it is like an anticipation of whatever is happening in this period of time, in this month in July. With the energy also with Mars here, we might tend to be active, maybe even overly aggressive. I think it is an invitation for us. Whatever is going to happen during this month, maybe we are feeling very unsettled because it is unconventional with Lily standing up for herself. With this kind of very strong energy, we should remind ourselves in our cosmic energy, we also have serious aim, ascended master, wisdom, and accuracy, and to 
Show out. Relax. Don't move. We are going into retrograde. Give it. And this is for the next video. In the meantime, we try not to overreact. Be firm of who we are, of what we stand for. But try to control the impulse if Uranus and Mars do not overreact. And the energy of Lilith after she meets to be conjunct with the submit. She is also going to conjunct with Venus as the um, ruling the planet ruler of Libra on the 4th of September and Mercury in October. The timing of it with Lilith after one month that is in Lilith for standing for fight for who she is. Here come Venus. And maybe Venus is going to bring out and help Lilith bring out the softness of it, of her, of the love expression that is always installed in Lilith as a God nation. We all have this love in us. It is only the circumstances of our experience that chosen this love inside us. If Venus coming in September and one month later, Mercury, he might be able. And we are training ours, we are teaching ours. Enjoy love to be a true Libra. That Libra love life every single moment. Libra only needs to know where and how to set the boundary and hold. And I think this is the lesson of in Libra for the next nice month. And to finish this video, I would like to give you a little essay I find really can explain the journey of If you are interested of your natal chart, transit chart, Gothic astrology chart reading with me, please visit Becoming with you. Thank you for now. From my heart, have a rest. Thank you. Bye. Seems like you forgot again. Let me remind you when it was hard and you were overwhelmed and felt afraid and walk alone and felt invisible and didn't have the answers 
and couldn't see the way and wanted to give up. You keep going. May you never forget that.